Hello, welcome to the third episode of the Productivity Tip Series. I'm Rob van den Acker. In episode one, I demonstrated the use of tracking numbers in a knowledge workers environment. Today, I would like to tell you about a great software tool called AutoHotkey. AutoHotkey is a free, open source, micro creation and automation software utility which allows users to automate repetitive tasks. In this episode, I will illustrate the use of AutoHotkey for the generation of tracking numbers and finding back documents tagged with these numbers. I will first show what kind of tasks we can do with AutoHotkey and then show how you can do it yourself. The principle of using tracking numbers in personal information management is simple. You add a unique number to a document and store it wherever you want, either in your email environment or on your hard drive. When you want to retrieve the document, you let your search engine look up the document using this tracking number. In this example email, I ask for comments on a draft report. To easily track responses, I'm going to add a tracking number that is composed of the year, the month and the time. I do this by typing in TN, short for tracking number. As you can see, the code is directly replaced by the number generated by AutoHotkey. Before I send this message, I copy the subject and the tracking number. I'll show you in a moment why I do this. Now I make sure that all documents related to this request, like the report, the meeting notes, and other correspondence, get this same number. Usually people reply to emails, leaving in the original message, and therefore also the tracking number. You probably also have some system to keep track of all the requests you sent out. I have a simple Excel file with action items and items I'm waiting for. You can now paste the subject and tracking number to the list. Here I use the clipboard manager built into Office to retrieve the clipboard entries. When you want to check the progress of this action item, you can easily find back all the related documents using a search engine. You could of course start the search engine, copy the tracking number from the Excel list, and then paste it. But AutoHotkey can do that much easier for you. In this case I've set up an AutoHotkey macro that is activated when I use the hotkey combination Windows F8. And as you can see, the tracking number is automatically pasted in the search engine, and these are the documents that contain the tracking number. You can also use tracking numbers to find back single documents. If for instance I want to start reading this document, I do not need to know where it is stored. I simply select the tracking number, press Windows F8, and I have the document in seconds. For those who have seen my pile file episode, may have noticed that I can also find a hard copy of this document in my pile file under sequence number 397. Although there is no real hyperlink between the list and the reference documents, using AutoHotkey it looks as if there is a virtual hyperlink. You can also use this macro to look up single words. If, for instance, I select the word Dayton and press Windows F8, I get all the files on my computer that contain the name Dayton. I will now show how you can set up AutoHotkey to perform these activities. First download the free AutoHotkey from autohotkey.com and install it. Download the free tracking number script from our website, robsprotips.com. Double click on the script and you will see this icon appear in your taskbar and know that the script is running. Typing in a T and an N will now generate a tracking number and pressing Windows F8 will paste the selected number and word in the search engine. The demonstrations here were given in Windows 7 and this script will also work in Windows Vista. It also works in Windows XP 
with a separately installed Windows desktop search. To make sure the script is active, when you start up your computer you can do the following. Make a shortcut of the script by right clicking on it and selecting create shortcut. Then select the shortcut and keep your left mouse button pressed while you go to start button, to all programs, to start up and then release the left mouse button. The tracking number script shortcut is then in the startup folder and by doing this every time your computer starts up it will run the tracking number script. AutoHotkey can do far more than a simple activity shown in this episode. If you have some programming experience I would certainly recommend exploring its possibilities. For those interested I will briefly show how the tracking number script works. But please do not panic if you do not understand. To use the script you do not need to understand how it works. If you open the script in Notepad you will see the following lines. The lines beginning with a semicolon are comments and are ignored by AutoHotkey. These lines copy the selected tracking number or text and runs the search. The hotkey Windows F8 is configured to launch the comments between the braces. The send comment simulates the keystrokes, Ctrl and C. This takes care of copying the selected text to the clipboard. The second line runs the Windows search engine, taking the clipboard contents as input. And return exits the script. These lines generate a tracking number based on date and time. The letters T and N are called an auto-replace hot string because the typed characters are automatically erased and replaced by the number generated by the following code. This line creates a number based on the month, hour and minute, all without leading zeros. The send command sends the generated tracking number to the active window and the return command exits the script. If you want to change the hotkey or auto-replace hotstring, you can change Windows F8 or TN. Save the file and double-click on the file to reload the script. I hope you have enjoyed this episode about auto-hotkey and tracking numbers for knowledge workers. Don't forget to look at the other related videos. This was Rob van den Ecker, looking forward to seeing you again with my next episode.